this second video looking at how to put together 3D printed kits. These examples are from the Newman Miniatures range on Shapeways. This time we're looking at cleaning the models. You can see, pointing out that while they are very crisp, there are small areas which do need a degree of filing, sanding and such like. Now, these particular models, as you can see, uh, require a very fine amount of detail uh, work being done to them, such as those railings. And the tools being used mostly consist of a fine point, a scalpel, and various different files and sanding paper. But it's not a hard material and it's very simple to do, but it does improve the overall look of the model considerably. Starting here with the main block where the locomotive tender coupling goes in, you can see that I'm very gently scraping away some of the mount support material. This is something which um, gives a very slightly uh, mottled effect. One important thing, of course, is that the models need to be very thoroughly cleaned, warm water, a little bit of soap, not too hot. And equally, I recommend leaving them on a windowsill by the sun for quite a long time, just to make sure that the resin in the plastic is completely set. Now here we can see that there's a certain amount of mounting material on the back of the funnel and a gentle bit of cleaning, making sure not to remove some of the other detail from the funnel here, for example, there being a supporting band, but it gives an idea of the tasks involved. Some of it is quite simple, such as those shown so far, large areas, but I'll be shortly coming to some of the more complex, fine detail. Now here, we're starting to look at the front. Now, particularly here, some of the support material does get caught in the detail, and so it's important to remove all of that, both for Christmas, but also to aid painting later. Now you can see I'm using a gentle uh, circular motion just to remove some of that detail. And uh, equally here, using very fine uh, points on the files to take out some on the underframe. This can be a bit tricky, and it's best to take this very slowly. It can be a lengthy job, but it is well worth it in the long run. Now looking at those uh, railings, this is a particularly fragile part, and as you can see, bits needs to be worked on both sides to remove all of the detail, both sides of the engine, but equally both sides of the railings themselves. Useful to be systematic when going through an engine or any model with cleaning it, just to make sure that you don't miss any areas. So that pretty much gives us, it's just a case now of cleaning up some of the footplate detail. This is exactly the same as the smoke box, removing the uh, residue of support material just to make sure that we have a nice crisp level of detail. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this and look forward to seeing you next time. See you then.